Hey everyone, my name is Nastasia and I am currently in Rome, Italy. You may ask, why am I here? And the answer is because my routine back at home in my apartment was just honestly really mundane. I was feeling bored and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to book a random trip to Rome. One of the benefits to being a startup founder and entrepreneur, at least for many of us, um, is for many of us who work remotely is um, I can kind of work from wherever I want to work. And that mixed in with present moment is the youngest I'll ever be equated to, okay, I'm taking a random solo trip to another place, another country, and I'm just going to have fun with it. I think like one core skill you need to have is to be able to go into places alone and like by yourself and not give a damn about it because you could get in your head, you know, like sitting down at a restaurant, eating by yourself while the entire restaurant is full with like groups of people and like couples. Um, it's, it's super easy for that to get to you and like for feelings of loneliness to start kicking in and thinking of like, oh, this is so awkward. But in reality, it's all mental. I'm at this point in life where I'm just like, a lot of this is just mental and exists all in the head. And if that is completely wiped away, if that mental stigma disappears and all like anxieties and um, fears just completely disappear as well. This video is going to be about the viral videos I've been seeing of gym girls filming their exercises and calling out uh, men who have glanced at them once or twice. On one end, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like I've, I didn't expect this. The gym girlies have made it. Um, but there's just a lot of misconceptions about this. And for me, I've been in the fitness space since I was 15 and a half. Um, I've been in the fitness, fitness industry, as you guys know, for quite a while. So this is completely up my alley. I've been doing this as a consumer, as an entrepreneur, and also as a content creator as well. So I know the ins and outs of the industry have experienced a lot in that amount of time and i thought i'd share my thoughts on all these videos that uh, have come out so we'll discuss a lot of things here including staring versus glancing because there's a big difference we're going to be talking about what women wear to the gym and the consequences of wearing specific types of apparel and more i don't know if you guys have seen these videos but we're going to watch a couple of them and i'll put them up on the screen as well and you can make the judgment yourself of is this okay is this not okay are women rightfully calling out these men or unrightfully this is how to not approach girls at the gym i hate this i hate this i hate when there's sweaters it's me so uncomfortable feral 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 like Barrel. There's mirrors everywhere, so it's like you can easily ca catch people. Act. Oh, this is nothing. Okay, we're gonna move on to the 35s now. I want you to watch very carefully. This is the five as five pounds. Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. Okay, so there's a video. Basically, the girl is doing hip thrusts and she's filming her exercise and in the back of the exercise you can see a man glance over at her i guess the counter said four about four times and then near the end of the video he comes up to her and he asks her if she needs help putting on the weight on the bar um honestly to me this was a completely like normal video there the man did nothing wrong i think my interpretation of this video is that the guy was like trying to glance a couple of times to see if the woman needs help putting weight on the bar which i think is a very nice thing to do um like if a man went up to me and asked like hey can i help you put the weight on the bar i'd be like what would i say I'd probably accept it and be like yeah thank you that's so nice like, we all know all of us who go to the gym that re-racking and racking weight is so incredibly tedious so any help that i could possibly get with that is 
yes please thank you and when i do hip thrust i can go up to like three plates on each side that thing is a pain in the ass to get off and on right it takes a lot of time so for me i would just be super thankful that somebody at the gym came up to me and asked that but this woman seemed to take it the completely opposite direction and thought he was a gym creep, a gym weirdo, a, let's say, a gym pervert. Um, because how dare men take glances at women at the gym? Again, to me, this guy was just being nice. He wasn't being creepy at all. There's a big difference between a man staring at you at the gym and glancing at you at the gym. The glancing is completely normal. We glance at people constantly. Women glance at other women. Women glance at other men, men glance at other men, and men glance at other women. Where um, it crosses the barrier is when a man stares at a woman at the gym. And I've gone this a bunch of times. Like I said, I've been in the gym space for like seven years and I've encountered many experiences with both like glancing and staring. And there's a huge, huge, huge difference. Staring is literally just like a man staring at a woman like this. like just staring, not breaking eye contact while she's working out. Yeah, so that's staring. Glancing is like, so we've all done the glancing, right? Um, it's completely normal. And to film this video and post it publicly and call this man a piece of shit is completely uncalled for. And in this case, men deserve better. Now let's watch a couple of other videos too. Stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Okay, I thought so. Are you okay? Keep it pushing. If you're getting, if you're getting rude, we can leave. Nobody was there. Well, quite a set of rude interactions um, started by the woman. First of all, the keep it pushing just makes me laugh every single time. I, I don't know why that's funny. The tonality of her voice when she says, do you need something is just coming off as straight up rude. She zoomed the camera on these two guys, slowed down the video. So it looks like they were staring for longer than they were. It looked like they just took a look at her for like a second, two seconds. And she got offended by that and started asking do you need something multiple times and this man did engage with her back and it was just not the best gym interaction by any means you have a woman who shows up at the gym and she is wearing a sports bra and spandex or shorts like it is of normal expectation to say that she is going to on average get more stares more glances and more attention than if she were to be covered up this is a completely normal thing. She'll get more attention, obviously, from men, and perhaps she'll get more glances or stares from women as well. You show more skin, you're going to get more attention. This is just how it works. If a woman shows up at the gym and she doesn't have that reality or that, if she doesn't have that reality set in the back of her mind that like, okay, I'm going to garner more attention by the way I dress, then she is not living in the parameters of reality. So because I know the reality of how things work, I am going to adjust my settings, my environment, the way I present myself to the world in a manner that will reduce the chances of me receiving unwanted attention. Okay, that's a very important thing. I will make it very clear that, of course, extreme cases do happen where um, even if a woman is covered up, there's going to be instances of her getting sexually harassed and all of that, and that is terrible, and that is truly a crime that has been committed to her, and she's truly a victim in this case, right? But we're not talking about those extreme cases right now. We're talking about like the everyday kind of like normal experiences that both men and women go through. Now, like I said, of course, there are cases where men are actually in the wrong here. And typically when that happens is when they stare. So not glancing, but stare. 
I'm sure that many women have experienced this um, before at the gym. I myself have many, many times. Um, most recently was sometime last year. I remember I was actually filming a squat session because I film my exercises at times and I post them um, to Core Circle. I post them on Core Circle. And I was squatting, I was wearing leggings and a oversized shirt. And the man in the background was staring at me the entire time I was squatting. There was another time where the same man was staring at me doing my pull-ups. The entirety, right? The entirety of my pull-up session, he was basically staring at it. He would only turn away and stop staring when it was time for him to like do his set or when I would stop doing my pull-ups or my squats or whatever it was, right? That would be an example of like gym behavior that is just not okay. That is creepy and it made me so incredibly uncomfortable to the point where I actually went up to the front desk and told them about this and showed them the video because I was also curious, like have any other women um, you know, talk to you about this? Has this been like reported before? Because this man is genuinely creepy. I should not be getting stared at. So that would be an exact case of like, okay, this is actually something that is wrong and legit creepy behavior. However, in the two videos we watched, that is not the case at all. Men are going to glance, right? Especially if that woman is wearing more revealing clothes. And I think this also sends men a message of, I gotta be incredibly cautious. I gotta be incredibly aware because I, I don't wanna get like randomly canceled by a woman. I can't like look at her in a particular way because I might have, I, I, my chances are hired of getting canceled. And I think that's, I think that's dangerous. I think modern day men are like now walking on eggshells because they don't know how certain women are going to react to their actions. And the way that I tend to think about this is with dating. Like I genuinely feel that men are now in the state of like, I don't know if I should pay for the first date or I don't know if I should open the door for the woman because I don't want her to yell at me or I don't want her to just like storm off angrily and potentially offend her because for whatever reason. I think that is not a good thing. Um, I've heard plenty of stories of men being like, I don't know what to do because I am afraid of how she will react. Women are the ones to blame in these certain scenarios. I think modern day feminism is definitely to blame here as well. It's just like turned things completely upside down to the point of men literally having to walk on eggshells and be extra careful because some women might make something out of nothing. I think women are constantly seen in this like goddess light of like women can't do no wrong and i think that's further from the truth there are women out there who are manipulative there are women out there who are evil um and there are women out there who just like aren't great right just how there are men who aren't great there are women who are not great either and i think it's on us women to step up and call out other women's poor behavior because what often happens is that women get together and they just blame men for problems that they have created, for problems that they themselves have created, right? We live in a society that just constantly shames men. And then you wonder why men aren't doing the things that they used to. You now are wondering why men aren't as chivalrous um, as they used to be or why they don't possess these gentle manly qualities. Well, it's because we've kind of ruined it. Like modern day feminism has kind of ruined it to a degree. Last thing I'll say, incredibly incredibly important to live within the boundaries of reality right and then to change your ways so that it fits that boundary that's what i have to do on a constant basis because again self-accountability if there's one thing be accountable for yourself. So yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm curious to know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm going to be enjoying Italy for a little bit and make sure to follow my Instagram to see the food I'm eating, where I'm going, and more of that fun stuff. See ya!